Now on 44 News at 6, the man accused of killing a deputy prepares to face a judge after attempting to escape from jail. What we've just learned about his court appearance. A child found wandering through a local neighborhood. Why the incident is shedding light on a disturbing trend. And meet the new athletic director for UE, his vision for the future. Then the debate over masks takes a nasty turn. 44 News at 6 starts now. Dedicated to local news, this is 44 News at 6. First tonight, the man charged in the murder of a Wayne County deputy, Sean Riley, will be in court tomorrow following an attempted escape from his jail cell. In the past month, Ray Tate pled guilty to one count of murder. Tomorrow, he will learn his fate for the crime. 44 News reporter Claire Dugan has the story all new at 6. After a string of violent crimes that spanned multiple counties and an attempt to escape from jail, Ray Tate will face a judge in the morning to receive his sentence. Ray Tate is the man accused of shooting and killing a Wayne County Sheriff's deputy. The incident happened back in December. It began with the fatal shooting of Wayne County Deputy Sean Riley during a traffic stop along I-64. Following the killing, Tate is accused of going on a violent crime spree that involved multiple carjackings, shootings, a kidnapping, and a hostage situation. Just last week, Tate was caught trying to escape from jail. And while Tate was originally facing dozens of charges, he accepted a plea deal in March, pleading guilty to one count of murder with all other charges being dropped. Tate's sentencing is scheduled to start at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. 44 News reporter Ella Shimwell will be in Wayne County with live coverage on everything happening inside the courtroom. Reporting in studio, Claire Dugan, 44 News. A Hawkins County grand jury returned multiple indictments against four people connected to the same case of sexual intercourse with a minor. Brittany Duval is facing 31 counts, including rape and other sexual crimes. Ronnie Duval is facing 21 counts, including rape and sexual intercourse with a minor. Joshua Looney is facing 20 counts, and Michael Gibbs is facing 12 counts. All four are expected to be back in court for arraignment following the indictments on April 27th. In Evansville, there's growing concern tonight about the number of children wandering the streets. Last night, a toddler was found roaming in a neighborhood alone. And this isn't the first time police have responded to a call like this one. 44 News reporter Ella Shemwell has that story. Wednesday, police were called to Morton Avenue after a toddler was found wandering alone barefoot. Evansville 911. Uh, yes, I... Uh I have a little boy that has stumbled on my porch with um, a little dog that um, doesn't know where he stays. The caller described him as two to three years old. I asked two of my neighbors if they knew where, and they said they'd never seen the little boy, so I didn't really know what else to do. They ended up getting uh, the Department of Child Services involved because they could. They went around several different houses trying to find the parents. They couldn't find the parents. April is Child Protection Month, and unfortunately, this is not the first, second, or third time a child has been found alone in the tri-state. And we're at about 49 um, calls for found um, found persons, I guess, um, mostly being children. We're at about 17 for just the month of April. In this case, the parents called police within two hours. The father was watching the child while the mom was at work. He fell asleep and that's when the toddler got out. When that type of situation is involved, officers are going to go to the home and make sure it's a safe home. Um, you know, obviously they gave the parents advice as well saying, you know, if your child's getting out, you need to look at different options as far as locks and things like that. The boy and the puppy were reunited with the family and no charges or arrests were made. EPD says, unfortunately, they are starting to see a trend, especially in children ages two to four. Reporting in Evansville, Ella Shimwell, 44 News. Tonight, one local woman is looking to give back to the community after her year-long battle with cancer. The Jen's Army Blood Drive was held today at the American Red Cross on Stockwell Road. 44 News reporter Bryce England was in Evansville. He has more. In honor of her fight with cancer, Jennifer Ribley hosted a blood drive today with one goal. I got the idea after battling leukemia, which I still am. I am in remission, but um, I had several blood transfusions and platelet transfusions during my um, during my treatments, and thought, you know, for my birthday, I got the idea to host a blood drive. 
help serve as a reminder to those that might take their blood for granted. Once you have something that impacts your life, like I have, that brings awareness to the need for blood donations, you maybe don't think about that, but every, I think every two seconds, um, someone in this country needs a blood donation. And I had several that kept me alive during my treatments. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here today. With blood shortages still impacting the tri-state, the need for donors to give back to the community is always going to be present. So it is critical that we get those donations. We're starting to see more businesses hosting blood drives, uh, but blood is vulnerable. We can't manufacture it. So we have to rely on people to, to come here and donate. With residents coming out to show their support. You know, I didn't realize how important it was for, for everyone to give blood and especially for those that need it and going through all the transfusions and learning about her history and her story uh, kind of had an impact on me and I wanted to do what I could to help. While today's blood drive ended at 4 p.m., there's still more opportunities to help the community in the future. You can check for any upcoming blood drives at the website you see at the bottom of your screen. Reporting in Evansville, Bryce Anglin, 44 News. Well, the rain is now behind us, and currently we're dealing with gray, cloudy skies. But Storm Team 44 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Hotman says those clouds are starting to separate a little, and those pockets of sunshine are making their way through. He's going to let us know what to expect heading into the evening. That's, va that's right, Valerie. Dry conditions finally rolling back into the tri-state in recent hours, giving way to what will be an absolutely gorgeous forecast ahead. Sure, we saw a couple light rain showers hours around 10, 11 o'clock this morning. Since then, things have dried out. And as Valerie mentioned, a lot of that cloud cover is now beginning to break up. Your 4K Doppler radar looking dry now. That wasn't the case all 24 hours, at least the past 24 hours. Many of us, anywhere you're seeing green on your screen, an indicator of more than a half an inch of estimated rainfall over the last day. That look from the Metro Cam, however, looking up 2nd Street in downtown Evansville, showing pockets of sunshine and the sun shining on Evansville. It is 68 degrees. That is absolutely gorgeous. We will gladly take 68 degrees. It's 66 Henderson, 63 Owensboro, 68 in Madisonville. If you have plans this evening, you are in luck. Feel free to leave the umbrella at home. I'll let you know how long you'll be able to do that and yes, how warm things are expected to get for the weekend ahead. That is all coming up. Leaders with the University of Evansville announced their new athletic director today. As sports director Joe Downs explains, they hope he can turn the department around. Call it Aces relaunch 2.0. After being set adrift the past few years in the wake of the Walter McCarty scandal, the University of Evansville athletic program is looking to right the ship, and today they hired a new captain. This afternoon at the Meeks Family Fieldhouse, University President Christopher Petruskevich officially introduced Dr. Kenneth Ziggy Siegfried as the new athletic director, replacing Mark Spencer, who resigned last month. Siegfried, a Memphis, Tennessee native, joins UE after serving as AD at Cal State Bakersfield, a position he's held since August of 2015. At Bakersfield, once a Division II power, it moved up to Division I and was Siegfried leading the athletic program they won seven conference championships back to the matter at hand turning around the aces athletic program a big task especially its flagship men's basketball program on his first day on the job Siegfried offered few specifics but had an overarching message I see an athletic uh, program that is fortunate to have a tradition of success um, I think that's huge. I see an athletics program that is eager to do more, but also looking at how we're going to take that next step and have that championship mindset that will be critical. And my evaluation is we have good people here. What it's going to come down to is making sure we have a game plan for success in the future, making sure we all understand what's important, what's important to our community, what's important to our campus. That Evansville across the chest, that's going to take us a long way. Siegfried tells me he's ready to hit the ground running, beginning with what he's calling a listening tour. We'll go around the community to find out what coaches, student athletes, and fans are looking for. Joe Downs, 44 News. All new tonight on 44 News at 6, the federal mask mandate was overturned. Now the government plans to appeal. We'll clear up the confusion over whether you still need to mask up. And how an unwanted birthday party resulted in a big pain for a Kentucky man. 
Depend on the 44 News and Storm Team 44 mobile apps for breaking news and weather alerts. One day we'll all be Ghosts are in here. Thank you for helping me tell my story. The ghosts are saying this could result in me not being able to see them. You ready? Let's do this. Okay, so the floodgates are just open. <laughs> the Ghosts season finale tonight on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus. If hay fever and other springtime allergies are a problem in your home, it could be from air leaks around your old windows. So call window shopping, the tri-state area's most trusted local source for high performance replacement windows. Reduce allergens and keep dust and pollen out of your home with beautiful windows that create a healthier environment for your family. And now it's our buy two, get one free sale. Buy two windows, get one free. Buy four, get two free. Buy six, get three free. Buy more, save more. Ask about 12 months, same as cash. And the bonus will pay your April energy bill up to $500 with your purchase of new windows. Plus call during this program for a free $50 restaurant.com gift card with your in-home estimate. Call 1-800-675-8320. Again, that's 1-800-675-8320. The best new cars last longer and make the best used cars. And the best of the best become certified used Toyotas. Backed by a one-year comprehensive warranty, a seven-year powertrain warranty, plus seven-year 100,000-mile roadside assistance, all of which makes for the best used car event. Now get 2.99 APR financing on any certified Camry, RAV4, Corolla, Islander, or Tacoma. See your Toyota dealer now. The best new cars make the best used cars. Hi, I'm Suzanne Crouch, and I'm proud to call Evansville home. I'm also proud to call our prosecutor, Nick Herman, a trusted friend. He is innovative, committed, and effective. Nick has been nationally recognized for the success of our local WeTip program. We need to work together to fight the drug epidemic, the scourge of violent crime, and work to prevent future generations from engaging in criminal activity. Nick Herman has my support. I would ask that you and your family join me in voting Herman for prosecutor. I'm Nicholas Herman, a candidate for prosecutor, and I approve this message. Welcome back. The CDC has asked the Justice Department to appeal the ruling that got rid of the travel mask mandate, setting the country up for a legal showdown. The mandate, put in place last February, covered public transportation, including trains, buses, and planes. But many Americans remain confused about when and where to mask up. Michael George has the latest. The Biden administration is extending its requirement for all non-U.S. citizens entering the U.S. to be fully vaccinated while trying to reinstate the transportation mask mandate. Well, there's going to be an appeal by the Justice Department. A federal judge in Florida struck down the CDC mask requirement on airplanes, trains and buses Monday, leading all major airlines to make masks optional on flights. I'm going to wear a mask on the plane. I don't feel un uncomfortable now not wearing one. The issue is of real concern for travelers like Brian Vastag, who has an autoimmune disorder. I am constantly assessing my risk. I'm not going to know, is there somebody on the plane who's sick right now? While the TSA is no longer enforcing the rule, passengers are still required to mask up in airports, including terminals here at LaGuardia. We have to uh, do all kinds of things to protect other people in this society, and the masking is just another thing. In a statement, the CDC defended the mask mandate, saying, quote, at this time, an order requiring masking in the indoor transportation corridor remains necessary for the public health. There's a lot of stuff still going on, and I just think that it should not be lifted as of yet. COVID-19 cases are rising in several states across the country, driven by BA2. The Omicron subvariant now makes up about 75% of new cases in the U.S. Michael George, CBS News, New York. Moderna, a maker of one of the COVID vaccines using messenger RNA for immune building, says it wants emergency use authorization for children ages six months to five years old by the end of the month. Moderna performed pediatric trials during the peak of the Omicron variant, saying two doses were about 38% effective in two to five year olds and 44% effective in children six months to under two years. Well, we've still got some gray, gloomy skies lingering over us, but Cam, I think I hear the Beatles' Here Comes the Sun playing in the background. 
Yeah, you know, the sun is already arriving. Valerie, check this out. This is our shot from our tower camera overlooking the west side of Evansville. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is sunshine. And we need more of it. Thank goodness. Things are looking absolutely gorgeous out there right now. The sun's shining on downtown Evansville and temperatures continue to rise. Check this out. These are temperatures across the region as of right now. You're going to notice something. Things are much warmer for the western half of the tri-state than they are for the eastern half. So what gives? Well, we're seeing plenty of sunshine, clear skies out in McLeansboro, Carmine, where it's 71 degrees. Starting to see more of that sunshine in Evansville now, 68 degrees. Owensboro, Hawesville, Hartford, Tell City, seeing more of that cloud cover. So not seeing much more of those mild conditions right now. But that will begin to change in the coming hours. The cloud cover will depart and looking at downtown Evansville, the sun shining on downtown Evansville. This is what we can expect this evening. If you have plans out and about tonight, you are in luck. It is going to be a perfect night throughout the tri-state. 65 degrees at 7 o'clock, down to 60 degrees by 9 p.m. By 10, we tumble back down to 59 degrees. That's about as cool as things get tonight. We'll have scattered cloud cover, plenty of moisture, and a southerly wind flow, all combining for mild weather overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. Another thing to keep in mind, while we do have more of that cloud cover tonight, notice what we're seeing. A couple light rain showers on your future cast right around midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm expecting dry conditions to persist this evening linger throughout the overnight hours and into our Friday ahead. Where does that leave us? Tomorrow morning, mild temperatures. 58 in Owensboro, 59 in Princeton, Carmi 58, 59 in Evansville early tomorrow morning as well. Should make for a fairly decent morning on the links. 59 degrees at 6 o'clock for that early tea time. 60 degrees at 7 a.m. I expect those golf courses to be packed tomorrow morning. 62 degrees at 8 o'clock in the morning. And yes, if you are planning on spending time outdoors or just heading out to work. One other thing to keep in mind tomorrow, high pollen counts, very high pollen counts in fact. So have those allergy meds if you're like me and you're an allergy sufferer, you're going to want to have those meds ready to go for your Friday because you do not want to ruin a day like this, especially considering it's expected to be our warmest day in about six plus months. 84 degrees, your anticipated high temperature in Owensboro. In Evansville, we'll hit 82. The last time we saw that was on the afternoon of October 14th of last year. Fire that grill up tomorrow night. You owe it to yourself after a long week of work. 79 at 6 o'clock, 77 degrees by 7 p.m. It's going to be perfect on Friday. And you know what? Let's throw in another good day, right? 83 on Saturday, absolutely gorgeous. Sunday, we'll hit 80 degrees. Notice, though, chances of rainfall rolling back in. That's not expected to occur until late Sunday evening, meaning Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all looking absolutely beautiful. Monday, maybe not so much. We head back to work. We have the umbrellas. It's raining and it's gloomy, whatever. But that weekend ahead looking beautiful. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week, cooler. But let's focus on those 80-degree temperatures Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Thanks, Cam. We have two consumer alerts tonight about scams sweeping through the tri-state. The first one is out of Davis County. Here's a photo of the fraudulent text message going around. The scam text claims to offer a discount on a Davis County Fire Department shirt with a suspicious link included. Authorities say if you receive the text, you should not open it. Instead, disregard and delete the text and block the number that sent it. And in Hancock County, deputies say someone is posing as an employee of Kenergy, threatening to shut off their power. Deputies say if you get a call like this, you should hang up and call Kenergy directly. They also remind people to never give out credit card information over the phone unless you're absolutely sure who you're talking to. Coming up, how an unwanted birthday party resulted in a big day for a Kentucky man. Storm Team 44 on Classic Hits 107.1 WJPS. If it's time to clean the windows in your home, but they're hard to open or you can only reach them with a the ladder, then call window shopping. Get easy to operate windows that tilt in for safe and simple cleaning. Plus during our buy two, get one free sale, buy two windows, get one free. Ask about 12 months, same as cash, and we'll pay your April energy bill up to $500 with your purchase. Plus call during this program for a free $50 restaurant.com gift card with your in-home estimate. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. When you're hit from behind in a car crash, the insurance company may try to say, you can't possibly be hurt. It was only a few miles an hour. 
it's simply not true. You see, here's the thing. Getting hit at 10 miles per hour is like falling off of this. 15 miles per hour, like this. And only 25 miles per hour, this. Injured, dial pound law. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. Some people know exactly what they want, but simply can't find it. At Expressway Dodge, get the vehicle you want the way you want it. Order your new vehicle and get $100 a week until your vehicle arrives. Build your new custom Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, or Ram and save $100 a week until your new vehicle arrives. Plus, get one year of free oil changes. Be guaranteed to get the one you want only at Expressway Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram in Evansville. This is what people with eczema said about how their skin feels. When it comes to our skin, what if it could feel differently? Say hello to Opsalura for the treatment of mild to moderate eczema. Opsalura is a steroid-free cream proven to help clear skin and significantly reduce itch. Do not start Opsalura if you have any infection as it may lower your ability to fight them. Tell your doctor if you are being treated for an infection, have TB, or have been in close contact with someone with TB, have had hepatitis B or C. Serious lung infections, skin cancer, blood clots, and low blood cell counts have been reported with Opsalura. In patients taking JAK inhibitors, serious infections, increased risk of death, lymphoma, other cancers, immune system problems, and major cardiovascular events have occurred. The most common side effect is pain and swelling in the nose or throat. It's a one-of-a-kind cream. So what could that mean for your skin? Ask your dermatologist about Opsalura. Get this, a lawsuit against a Kentucky company for throwing an employee a birthday party has been settled. According to court documents, the now former employee is now suing the company Gravity after suffering a panic attack and being fired. According to records, the office manager forgot his request not to have a party and threw one anyway, which triggered a panic attack. Records go on to say company managers told the victim to leave for the weekend and then they fired him, telling him they were worried about him being angry and possibly becoming violent. They started giving him a pretty hard time for, um, for his response to the birthday celebration, uh, actually accusing him of stealing his coworkers' joy. The jury sided with the former employee and awarded $450,000 in damages, including $300,000 for mental anguish. Dry conditions continue for the tri-state for now with mainly clear skies rolling back in. I'll let you know exactly how long the sun will shine coming up. The Spring Spruce Up Giveaway. Enter now for your chance to win. Enjoy some peace and quiet in your home with new windows from Window Shopping. Reduce outside noise and save on your energy bills with styles like double hung, picture windows, sliders, and more. If you've been thinking about replacing your windows, now's the time to do it. Take advantage of our buy two, get one free sale. With every two windows you buy, you'll get one free. So buy four, get two free. Buy six, get three free. And ask about 12 months, same as cash. Don't miss out on the bonus. We'll pay your April energy bill up to $500 with your purchase of new windows. And last chance to call during this program for the free $50 restaurant.com gift card with your in-home estimate. Pick up that phone. Call 1-800-675-8320. That's 1-800-675-8320. Spring is here and April showers bring great savings at Henderson Chevrolet Buick GMC. New inventory is arriving daily and we're taking reservations for the Hummer and Sierra EVs. Save on pre-owned with deals like a 2020 Silverado RST for $49,990 or a 2019 Chevy Trax for $21,990. Plus, we're paying top dollar cash on the spot for your vehicle. Find new roads or cross that money-saving bridge during our April Shower of Savings event only at Henderson Chevrolet Buick GMC. Oh, Liza <laughs> saves the day. Well, this is how I cook, so. I'm a big fan of your food. Thank mm -hmm. you. It smells so good. Oh. Enjoy one of our $3 bundles, like a McDouble and small fries or a McChicken and small fries. 
skyrocketing utility bills? We can help. Up to $1,000 off a new high efficiency system, plus our bonus inflation buster. We will pay your last utility bill up to $500. A plus dir, your call for comfort. This is a town called Basic. Where the townspeople are happy with a basic lifestyle. And that's a 2022 Nissan Altima. With more attitude, more style. And a powerful turbocharged engine to help put BASIC in your rear view forever. Looks like BASIC will never be the same. The 2022 Nissan Altima. Anything but BASIC. Now get 0.9% financing for up to 72 months on 14 models. Keep your home's exterior beautifully protected with 11% off everything at Menards. Cedar Creek Final Siding is low maintenance and comes in 16 colors, ready to install. Get 11% off all Cedar Creek Final Siding. Revive and restore your roof with Sealbest White Elastomeric Roof Coatings. The reflective coatings lower interior temperatures and improve energy savings up to 35%. All Sealbest coatings are 11% off now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Things are looking absolutely gorgeous across the tri-state this evening. Check this out. This is what we can expect over the next few hours. Pleasant conditions, gradually decreasing cloud cover, and temperatures falling from the mid-60s to the upper 50s. By 7 o'clock, 65 degrees, 60 by 9. By 10 p.m., we're down to 59 degrees with partly cloudy skies. It will be nothing short of gorgeous tonight. But if you are a fan of the pleasant weather, you're going to love tomorrow. High temperatures up to 82 degrees for our Friday. If you have plans out and about Friday evening, you are in luck because things are looking even nicer. Temperatures between your evening commute and dinner time on Friday, the upper 70s and low 80s. Saturday, Sunday, yeah, just as warm. 83 Saturday, Sunday, right around 80 degrees. Chances of rainfall moving late Sunday linger into the beginning of the next work week. Moral of the story, make the most of your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday afternoon for those next chances of rainfall arrive. You heard it, Tri-State. Hang up those umbrellas and enjoy the next three days. Thanks for making us your choice in news. We'll see you tonight on Fox 44 at 9. Have a good evening. Connect with 44 News anytime for headlines, breaking news, weather alerts, and a live stream exclusively with the 44 News app. And follow 44 News on Facebook and Twitter. Hometown Heroes, Friday nights on 44 News. It's 